Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at compass points and bearings. So let's get started. Now we're going to look briefly at compass points and bearings because this is going to help us define directions in future videos. First of all, we say that directions can be described using compass points. And you should be aware of the four main compass points from primary school. So we have north, east, south and west. And remember these go in a clockwise direction and a useful mnemonic to remember the order starting at north and going clockwise is never eat shredded wheat. Now there are loads of others that exist and you probably know some yourself. Things like never eat soggy Weetabix or naughty elephants squirt water and things like that. Now we don't just use north, east, south and west to define directions, we can also use things called bearings. Now what is a bearing? Well we say that a bearing is a three digit number without a degree symbol. It is measured from north which we give the bearing 000 in a clockwise direction. Now just like we remember the compass points north, east, south and west in a clockwise direction, we also think about the bearings as starting off at north and moving in a clockwise direction. So you can see from this diagram here we have north, east, south and west and then we've got the bearings underneath as well. So we say that north has a bearing of 000, zero, zero and then we move around 90 degrees to here which means our bearing is going to be 090. Remember we don't need the degree sign for a bearing. We then move another 90 degrees and we get round to a bearing of 180 for south. We then move another 90 degrees round and we get to west which has a bearing of 270 and then we move through another 90 degrees to get back to north which would be a bearing of 360 but we can also say that's the same as 000, our starting point. So it's useful to know the four main compass points, north, east, south and west and their associated bearings and this is going to be useful when we do questions which ask us to determine the displacement of an object, i.e. the magnitude which would be the distance as well as the direction of an object. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.